Hi, this is Robin Bremer, <laughs> author of um, Feed My People Joy and Kingdom Justice and Liberty for All, which will be released February 27th. Now, today I want to share with you something that I hear over and over and over, and it just just really saddens me. And and it's so it, it's seen everywhere I go when I when I pray for someone in the store, pray for a neighbor. Or pray for somebody. They always um, have the same excuse and reason for not being healed or not believing for healing. And they say things like, "Well, whatever happens, happens." Or, uh, "Well, if God wants me to be healed, He'll heal me." Or, um, you know, I guess God don't want to heal me. Just, just wrong thinking. Just thinking that God doesn't want the person healed thinking that um, what happens happens is everything that happens is God's will and that is so far from the truth um, that it, it is just so irritating to me that the devil would deceive Christians like that and my cat is sitting on my lap right now so if you're wondering what I'm doing is he keeps moving around but um, anyway the, the scripture that really comes to heart when it comes to people saying well, if God wants to heal me, He will. Or, um, well, what happens, happens. It's His will. Well, that doesn't really make any sense because then why do you bother going to the doctor? Why are you taking medicine? And if what happens, happens is His will, then God's a pretty sick God. Because if somebody goes down there, I mean, people rape five-year-olds and six-month-old babies and mutilate them and murder them and and uh, kill them and just all kinds of nasty stuff and that's not God's will so how can you say that it's God's will for you to be sick just because you aren't healed okay when God put us in the garden of Eden he gave us authority and dominion because he knew that there was a devil around that was going to try to steal from us what was rightfully ours and he did but this is the scripture if I had a brand new Christian in front of me and I had to give him only one scripture I would give them this scripture and this is a scripture that you need to hold on to and you need to get my copy of it because I took all the main words and broke them down and looked them up in the original language and this is what I use when I take communion this is what I use when um, like the other day I got really really sick for about 10 minutes I didn't know whether to sit down or throw up or sit on the potty or pass out or what it was I would say that it was the most sickest I've ever been in my life. I've had the flu three times. And that's a story because I only had that for a couple of days and a couple of weeks when everyone had it for months. But uh, this was a scripture that I stand on when any, any when anything ever comes against me. And the scripture is Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. And I want to read it to you how God showed it to me. And then talk to you about what God said to me about this scripture <clears throat> and how it can change your life. It says, Surely he has borne our griefs which means in the original language surely he has bought, carried and borne our sicknesses diseases afflictions sadness evil and calamity and carried our sorrow sorrow means physical and mental pain grief and sorrow yet we did esteem him smitten of God and afflicted in other words but we thought that God was punishing him because he did wrong but he was wounded for our transgression transgression means he was wounded for our sin every sin lifetime of sin he was this was before the foundation of time before you were even born or did one sin he, this happened okay uh, it, this was planned from the foundation of time uh, he was wounded for our sin our rebellion our guilt punishment for transgressions and our offering and he was bruised for our iniquities that means he was bruised for our guilt our con condition our consequences of or punishment of sin okay think about that that's a pretty strong statement there the chastisement of our peace the punishment uh, the correction for our peace peace meaning completeness safety soundness in body welfare health prosperity prosperity peace whole 
entire contentment, friendship, and covenant relationship was upon him. And with his stripes, we were healed. So if you take that and you take those key words and you look it up in the original language, it covers everything. So everything in your life that does not line up with that word, you were created to have authority and dominion. You were created in Ephesians, it says, to tell the principalities, powers, and dominions in heavenly places that they're illegal. They cannot put this any of this stuff on you that I just read. They cannot put any of that on you. Jesus already took care of it. Now, getting back to what these people say. First of all, I want you to think about this. Why would God punish Jesus, put all our sins on him, all the punishment for our sins, the consequences of our sins, all the suffering, and so that we could have all this stuff and then turn around and say, nah. I don't want to heal you. You're not good enough. You didn't earn it. See, it's, you don't earn it. It's a gift. It's given to you free. Okay? Healing, prosperity, all these things, peace, um, welfare, health, prosperity, relationship with God, it's all given to you because Jesus had it, took the punishment so that we could have it. So there's no reason God would withhold it from you. It says the goodness of God leads you to repentance. Repentance doesn't mean, oh God, I can't believe I did that stupid thing again. I'm never going to do it again. That is sin consciousness. Repentance means change your mind. And you change your mind when you look at Jesus and you see grace. When you see that, wow, he, he empowers me not to sin. And when I sin and mess up, he already paid the price for it. So that makes me want to do more good and empowers me to do good. So... Look at this scripture, Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. It is an awesome, life-changing scripture. If you can just get a hold of it and just squeeze it out and take everything from it, it will change your life and um, everything. And uh, my book, Ju uh, Kingdom, Justice, and Liberty for All, has uh, about taking authority and dominion over what Jesus already did and enforcing it. It talks about this kind of thing. And it is... It's my second book, and I'm working on my third right now, but it is an awesome, life-changing book. Um, my first book was a foundation. It was a, It's a really good foundation, and it's so filled with scripture that all, all by itself, even though I have companion Bible studies that are going to be released next month, <clears throat> even if you take it by yourself and study it and dig into it, your life will be changed because it's all about the kingdom. And this one is about the kingdom part of enforcing the defeat of the devil. So my name is Robin Bremer. Net is my website. I hope that set you free and I'll talk to you tomorrow.